It's going in and out of dates. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds more. Oh, it's brilliant. 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 Yeah. Do you know, do you know something? Sergeant Pepper was the first record I ever bought. Was it? Really? Yeah. 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 What, you'd nicked him before that. That's right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was, I was a bit of a tear away in those yeah. days, but what days they were. Oh, they was. The they 60s. The 60s. days. The yeah. 60s, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, can't yeah. tell you something. The young people nowadays, they've got no idea. No, of course they don't. They don't even know they're born, do no. they? Well, they weren't. They, they, they weren't born. They weren't born. No, yet. they didn't even know they wasn't born. I mean, that's <laughs> happening. I mean, look. But, but yeah. OK, look, nowadays yeah. there might be some good rock groups right. around. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. people nowadays like listening to, to today's bands. Yeah. But can you honestly tell me, mm. in the last ten years, has there been anything to compare with something really great like Chirpy Chirpy Cheap Cheap? <laughs> <laughs> No, there wasn't much to compare with it then. What? No, it wasn't there, really. No. Oh, those were the days. Do you remember that? Swing in London. Yeah, where was that? <laughs> London. London. Swing oh, in yeah, London. London. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. England swing like, like a, a pendulum, pendulum do. do. Yeah. yeah Centre right. of the universe it was. It was. Yeah. yeah. Centre of the universe. Yeah. For, for, for youth culture. That's right. Rock music Rocky and fashion. Music and from music. the King's Road in Chelsea to Carnaby Street in... Uh, yeah. Uh, just off Oxford Street. That's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. London was the place to be. That's right. <laughs> Where were you living then? Devon. Oh. <laughs> no, no, but it was fantastic. It was, do you remember those days? Yeah. The 60s was one big loving. Yeah, it? it was for me. Was one it? big loving behind the bus shelter in 1967. <laughs> I didn't get another one until 1979. Because, uh, <laughs> you know, I was very into the hippie culture. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was very influenced by all the West Coasts, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, you will be down in Devon, I should think. Yeah. <laughs> no, West Coast America. How do you mean? Los Angeles, San Francisco, New York, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was... I was one of the beautiful people. <laughs> yes, I was, yeah. It was, it was a bit before I met you, of course. Yeah, I yeah. think it must have been, huh? <laughs> it's been as ugly as sin since I remember you. <laughs> tell, look, tell me, yeah. remind me, who was the who was the big rock star who choked to death on his own vomit? Jim Morrison. No, 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 the other one. Uh, Keith Moon. No, no, no. Um, Janis Joplin. No. No. Mama Cash. No. Frank Ifield. No. <laughs> um, Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix. Jimi oh, Hendrix. Yeah, that's right. What about him? Well, he choked to death, didn't he, on his own body? <laughs> really, really, who'd have thought it? Yeah. Yeah, mind you, great stuff, wasn't it? Jimi Hendrix, the music. Oh, that was my favourite. I watched how did that one, that big hit he come out? How did that go? It went to jam. Uh, oh, yeah. You're thinking of, um... No, no, that's stupid. That's Jimmy Page. Oh, you're thinking of... Oh, that's... Yeah, that's yeah, unforgettable that's stuff. Yeah. Marvellous tunes. Yeah. Marvellous. Who wrote that? Uh, Lionel Bart, I believe. Did he really? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it takes you back listening to that music, yeah, and it, it takes you back... Do you remember, do you remember all those the fights, the bank holiday fights down oh, in Brighton? Well, on the beach with the mods and the rockers? Do you well, remember of that? Of I remember I was there, mate. You wasn't. Oh, well, oh, yeah, I was right in the thick of it there, mate. You, yeah, oh, you, did yeah. You, I, you know, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Were you a, what were you, a mod or a rocker? No, I was a dick chair attendant. <laughs> I should tell you, I had to race up and down the beach chasing them, them rods and them muckers up and down. I go up and down, up and down. And they never give you no money it's or a, nothing. And what they a funny. Oh, yeah, it must have, have been terrible. But it was a terrifying time, yeah, that. Yeah. Because you noticed everybody was very, what they used to say, was very tribal. Was it? Everybody yeah. was part of a tribe, oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Mm. Like, come in, because well, I mean, in those days, of course, I was, I was a mod. Was you? Because yeah. you were skinhead now, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. What about you? What were you? Well, me? Oh, I don't know. Well, well I mean, what did you look like? Well, I had long hair, obviously. Well, you, got, well you, had, you had sideboards, didn't no, you? No, no, we had a cupboard to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what sort of clothes know, did you get? Like a big purple shirt, right, yeah. with, with twirly whirlies on it, like that. Well, paisley sort of thing, right, isn't it? Yeah, with a big nine-inch collar. Oh, yeah, a big collar. I had a 42-inch <laughs> kipper tie, like that. Huge oh, thing, yeah, like I get, yeah, I know. And yeah. then I had... Uh, did you have flared trousers? Uh, well, to a certain extent, yeah. I had, um, I had them sort of purple, velveteen, crushed moon pants. <laughs> oh, what, you mean like the ones you were wearing the other night? <laughs> 
That was the ones I was there with. Yeah. Him, and then I had a big Afghan coat, like made with a hairy bitch. Right? Oh, yeah, and then yeah. I had the beads, and then I had a little tattoo saying, I love Simon D. Oh, Just, yeah, yeah. I get the picture. I get the picture, yeah. yeah. And what, what do you think I was then? Uh, a bit of a prat, I suppose. <laughs> Useless gunships, drown rats, you both German spies Don't relax until grandma's sober Grams is ripe and under gooseberry sky John had that extraordinary ability when writing songs He'd see a line in a newspaper, it could be anything And he'd mould it into something really quite beautiful And then his imagination would just... Unbelievable It's naughty knickers we have in the solar sun. On another occasion, Lennon saw an old circus poster. It became the inspiration for his song, The Old Circus Poster. <laughs> he holds he and his acrobats and clowns and several other brats are here tonight. <laughs> Before we turn him into glue, the horse will dance a waltz or two by your hands. Well, it's really weird that thing about Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. Because um, everyone said it uh, spelt uh, LSD, right? But actually, if you think about it, it spells L I T S W D, which is Litswood. And actually, Litswood is a little uh, village in Wales where John used to go on his holidays, you know, as a kid. So it had nothing to do with drugs? <laughs> no, nothing at all. No, it was just high at that, you know. What about this song? Gunships drown rats, you both German spies Don't relax until grandma's sober Guns is right on the gooseberry sky <laughs> stoned out of his mind when he wrote that one. <laughs> yes, yeah, so a lot of people ask me how I get the distinctive and unusual Beatles sound. Well, let me show you something. This is what a cymbal sounds like. This is what a cymbal sounds like backwards. And this is what a cymbal sounds like when Ringo plays it. OK, Ringo. <laughs> the album's release, a rumour got around that Paul McCartney had died. This absurd but nonetheless widespread belief sprang up when various people found what they believed were vague references to his death, both on the album cover and in the gibberish recorded on the out track. What word does it have to say like the mop? What word does it have to say like the mop? Paul McCartney is as dead as a dodo. <laughs> Paul McCartney is as dead as a dodo. <laughs> Paul McCartney 